Arian's body have? These cells can regrow into any body part. After cutting the creature into pieces, we will have several very lively flatworms. Scientists have been studying these creatures attentively. They see planaria as a source for understanding how human organs or tissues can be replaced. Is this tree really full of goats? This scene is quite common in the small village of Tamari in Morocco. The tree that the goats are fond of are argan trees. Of course, the goats climb these trees in search for food. Argan berries are the things that a Tamri goat can dream about. But to reach the fruit makes them learn an extraordinary balancing skill that's quite unexpected from a hoofed animal. These creatures have learned to climb as high as 26 to 33 feet up into the branches to reach it. Besides, earlier, the goats played a major role in the argan oil industry. The thing is that after digesting the berries, the goats leave behind droppings that contain large kernels of the seeds they eat. These kernels are pressed to produce argan oil. Besides, researchers found out that 70% of seeds regurgitated by goats could still grow. It means the animals play an important ecological role in helping the argan tree to survive. There is one more extraordinary phenomenon in the animal kingdom. I'm talking about the monarch butterfly migration. Each fall, millions of monarch butterflies leave their summer breeding places in the Northeast US and Canada. They go about 3,000 miles to get to some special places in southwestern Mexico. When spring comes, they travel back up north. The scientists have learned how do the insects make such a long trip. The researchers used miniaturized radio transmitters attached to the butterflies. They tracked the journey using a series of automated telemetry towers. They found out that monarchs go high to take advantage of strong tailwinds, powering along at up to 20 miles per hour. Warmer temperatures also help. On a good day, the butterflies manage to travel over 60 miles. Have you ever heard the name the Rat King? Maybe you have met something like that in video games, but this phenomenon is a real thing. A Rat King occurs when the tails of rodents become twisted and wrapped into a knot, and this knot is impossible to untangle. The most suitable explanation is that rat species with long tails sometimes hide in close quarters during winter. There they come into contact with a sticky or frozen substance, such as food, feces, frozen urine, or frozen blood. When the rodents realize their tails are glued, they might create a tighter knot trying to wriggle free. You have seen a lot of cases of marine mammals that beach themselves. Such things have been known since the Romans' times, but even today it is a half-mystery. Modern marine biologists can determine the cause of beaching about 50% of the time. As scientists think, often the cause is injury or illness. Disease or wounds from predators can leave an animal too weak to keep itself afloat. As for the cases where a group of animals beach themselves together, the cause is not so obvious. Researchers suppose that whales and dolphins, which hunt and travel together in pods, fall victim to their own social structure. If the group leader or dominant animal is sick or hurt and runs ashore, the rest of the group might follow. That's all I wanted to tell you about today. Which phenomenon was the most impressive for you? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time! Nature has a lot of secrets. There are many of those that we still can't understand. But fortunately, scientists have revealed some of them. Today in my video, I want to explain the top 10 unusual phenomena that are known in the animal world. Let's get started. There are different names for this phenomenon. Ant circle, ant mill, and other more dramatic names. Sometimes this tragic situation happens in an ant family. Occasionally, army ants can get caught in a doomed revolving motion in which each ant follows the one in front of it in a never-ending loop. This results fatally for ants because of exhaustion. The point is that army ants are blind, and they travel by following the ant in front of them tracking their pheromones. In the search for food, army ants can become separated from the main party and can lose the pheromone track. When this happens, they blindly follow the ant in front of them. The only way to escape the mill is if the leader diverts the group in a new direction, but it almost never happens. 
Have you ever seen scorpions in ultraviolet light? You really should see it. They all fluoresce in these conditions. Why does it happen? The blue-green glow comes from a substance found in the haline layer of a creature. It is a very thin but super tough coating in a part of the scorpion's exoskeleton called the cuticle. Scientists have noticed an interesting fact. Right after a scorpion molts or sheds its shell, it doesn't glow until the new cuticle hardens. Some researchers think that the substance that causes fluorescence is a byproduct of the hardening process itself, or it may be secreted not long after the scorpion melts. Sloths are not only known for their extremely slow mo, but they are also famous for their great pooping mystery. They spend all their life in the trees, but go down once a week to poop. This is a real challenge for the animal. You know that sloths have extremely slow metabolisms and restricted leaf diets. So a simple excursion down to the forest floor demands a lot of their daily energy budget. On the forest floor, they also face more predators. Actually, pooping is really the only reason for a sloth to ever leave its tree. Why do these creatures make such a long and dangerous journey to relieve themselves? As scientists think, the reason for such strange behavior is about the dwellers that live in sloth's fur. A diverse community of fungi, algae, insects, mites, ticks, and moths. These moths are entirely dependent on the sloths, especially on their defecation trips. So while the sloths do their thing, the female moths fly off and lay eggs in the fresh dung. The larvae eat nothing else. Surrounded by sloth poop, they slowly transform into adults and after that they fly into the canopy and colonize more sloths. If you saw enormous flocks of birds in the sky, you were likely to speculate how birds gather in such gigantic formations. Yes, it is difficult to understand how they move in such an unpredictable wave, and how birds can fly in this formation without the aid of the high-tech location equipment. Such behavior is called flocking. Scientific mathematical models show that the birds' complicated collective behavior can be the consequence of some simple rules. First rule is that each bird guides itself to avoid crowding or bumping its neighbors. The second one is that each bird tries to match the average heading of its neighbors. And the last one is that each bird follows the average position of its neighbors, keeping flock structure. There is one more amazing thing in the natural world. Meet the planarian, a flatworm that has an amazing ability. After being cut into pieces, this creature can regenerate. It's possible thanks to stem cells that the planarian